Next, we have architect Sanjay Patil, uh, environment planners, and architect Anagha Patil, again, environment planners. Uh, they are going to talk about works and beyond. Uh, for the introduction, architect Sanjay Patil, principal architect of the firm, graduated from Sir JJ College of Architecture. The firm was established in 1981 in Nashik as environment planners by architect Sanjay Patil. Environment planners is an architecture firm that has always worked towards environment, conscious architecture seeking aspiration and inspiration from nature and tradition. Respecting nature has always been an integral element of firm's approach. The need of the hour being sustainable development, the firm's efforts are consciously directed towards application of energy efficient principles to the building design. Influenced by her father, architect Sanjay Patil, Anagha Patil followed his stride to become an architect. After completing her bachelor's in architecture, she pursued master's in housing and urbanism from Architectural Association, School of Architecture, London. Subsequently, she joined her father's firm, Environment Planners. Anagha is not just passionate about architecture, but also various art forms. She's an ardent traveler and loves to explore nature. I call upon stage architect Sanjay Patil and architect Anagha Patil to please make the presentation. A round of applause. Thank you, uh, Team IDAC. All my fellow friends, uh, architects from Surat. And I have, we have a very special relationship with Surat, uh, student of uh, Surat Architecture College. You know, we have, every year we have a few students coming for training. And we love the food here. So, Jimwanu to nakki che, Surat ma. Anyway, so. We'll start quickly, and we'll try to remain in the time limit what you have given set for. We'll skip the uh, introduction because we have already been introduced very nicely. This is our office space. It's, uh, we can proudly say that it's been 22, uh, 23 years we have completed this year. And uh, for, even for once, we have not done any renovation. Uh, we'll show glimpses of some of our projects of different typologies. And the last project we'll uh, go through in detail. This is a farmhouse actually project for two partners. Uh, this was a barren land, absolutely barren land, and we developed it from absolutely scratch to foliage, to total orchid and with the plantation. So the house was placed at the southern side of the plot uh, as per Vastu. Also, it was the highest point on the site as per the contours, and that's why it was also strategic. Also, it faced the view. So uh, it made the most appropriate location for the house. These are viewed of the Sayadris. Not working. Where to spot? This way? It's not working. Can we do it manually? Yeah. Yeah. I think I banged it. <laughs> Indian style. <laughs> you got it. Nice, <laughs> right? No. 
<coughs> okay, next. Next. We'll just run through because the pictures will speak a lot. Next. Next. Simple specification, simple furniture, easy to maintain. Next. 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 <coughs> Next. Next. Next floor. So this is another house uh, facing the Gangapur Dam. It is for a very big uh, renowned contractor from Nasik. And uh, he's, uh, uh, he's one of the important contractors for all the development of the airports in all over India. So his requirement was to have a lavish house facing Next. the water. So this is the Gangapur Dam and that is the non-development area. So his house has uninterrupted view of all throughout. Next. So basically respecting contour was the concept here and view. Next. 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 So this is another house made uh, in brick and stone and it has a contemporary language even if we have used traditional materials. So this is an institutional project. Here, the ch <coughs> there were two challenges. One was uh, time was a constraint while being, uh, starting up the courses. So uh, and then we wanted to create a uh, iconic building also and the entrance. So this is a library, and uh, uh, we uh, this becomes an entrance also. So it's an important. Uh, you know, feature of the institute. So, this is a 65 meters by 35 meter span structure. Next. <clears throat> so, the plan is very simple. And uh, we wanted to, as I said earlier, time was a constraint. We have to chase the time. So, the plan planning was done in a modular uh, way. So, there are uh, courts in a building and then the larger court in the whole com campus. So this is how the overall plan is. Next. <coughs> the canopy covers the library. And that becomes an entrance also. So uh, you know, these students are proud, and they're, it is a good example for them to uh, follow. Next. Next. Next, next. I think this is not working. Next. 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 So we have used the vertical fins, adjustable fins, to control the sunlight. And next. These are the inside view of library. Next. So building illuminates at night. Next. So this is an <coughs> adaptive reuse project. This project um, was a water tank during the British era. It was also used to uh, store ammunition during the war. It was also used as a bunker for the soldiers. And when uh, Mr. Isnagar, he purchased this land to form his nursery named as Papaya Nursery, this came as part of the property. And then it was a challenge to convert this water tank into his office. These are the walls supporting the tank above. Next. 
there are four tanks. This is the section. Next. 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 So one of the one of the tanks, two of them were converted into water body in swimming pool and then the bedroom and multifunctional area. So this has become a quite interesting uh, project. Readapt to use. Next. So as architects, uh, it's our understanding that our way of giving back to society is by doing pro bono projects. So this project is a pro bono project from our side. Uh, uh, it is a hostel for mentally challenged girls. It took almost four to five years to complete because as the funds used to come, they used to build every now and then. And they had a very simple specification. They wanted a building which will be low maintenance, which will have no fancy materials because it has to be very simple like the NGO's concept. Next. So it is a simple plan. The ground floor caters to all their common activities with the multipurpose hall where they can make different items which they sell and earn their own livelihood. Next. 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 So Next. their cr criteria was to not have windows directly looking outside to the neighboring buildings. To, just to keep it safe, but at the same time, it was important for them to have natural light and ventilation. Next. 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 So patterns is very uh, important for their development of keeping their energy channelized. So it was the institute's requirement that in the grill we should make a very subtle pattern which will uh, make the girls happy. Next. Next. We are done with the timing. We are done with the time. <laughs> should we continue or? We can stop. I'd, I'll request you to wrap it up in one minute, if possible. Can just show yeah. The okay. You can go to the slides. Thanks. This is uh, interior for Mahindra's senior management, retired MDs, and they have there created their uh, their space in in the Mahindra Towers, Mumbai. So keeping in the uh, mind that the character of the building. <coughs> so this is uh, our own project, Farmhouse at Mahirawani, which is near Nasik. Next. So this was the land uh, when we got it. Uh, and uh, on right side, you can see the image in uh, 2015. So we planted almost 4,500 uh, trees over this uh, land. It was a absolutely barren because in the rainy season, you can see some water. Otherwise, it's a very arid area. Next. So these are the arches. We got it from our uh, one of the client in barter system. Next. So you can see the images on the left-hand side. Uh, there was absolutely no trees or shrubs on that, uh, hardly any shrubs, in, that is also in the rainy season. And you can see now the fully grown forest over there. Next. So we tried uh, various options here. We used uh, maximum local stone here from the place, from this place only, because it's all, uh, all the stone in uh, rocky uh, so, uh, land was there. So we tried to use minimum material, three hours, reduce, recycle, reuse. So the flooring is terracotta tile. We have used all sustainable approaches. This is the cooling system. Next. So you can enjoy the rains also. Next. This is the passion of our family. So swimming pool is also integral part of our. So we have a lot of uh, interactions. Uh, 
with uh, renowned architects. We have music system, music uh, uh, gatherings here, and we have a lot of architects coming here. We have, we have discussions here. So this is the now we have decided to extend. I mean, permanently after COVID, we decided to stay there permanently for good because. So that was the first part, which was uh, done 2018 years back. Now we extended back. So we got one more this place from Nasik. So there are many stories to this, but now we are short of time, so we'll conclude on that. So this is how the. few slides. Mm. So we feel for an architect or for that matter any professional to become uh, overall uh, wholesome, uh, for his wholesome growth, it's important uh, that we need to live life beyond our work and see, three, see, three, uh, see uh, things through. So traveling has been part of our lives since ever. And traveling can be fun as well as, well as educational. So it gives us a lot of knowledge, it gives us a lot of perspective. And some travels also help in developing your own structures. So this was the structure we documented and uh, reworked on a different office building. So keeping our health is also very important. Don't look, go on our sizes. We, are, we try to be healthy as far as possible. Next. 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 I think you should go aside. Next. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> architect Sanjay Patil and Architect Anaga Patil. I request Engineer Dharam Bhagat to please get on the stage and felicitate the speakers. Thank you.